Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Davla Carnava. Now this is actually in the Ufa region, about two hours by plane east of Moscow and everyone's been asking me for me to come to a regional area of Russia and show you what the supermarkets are like because everybody thinks that in Moscow all the stores are full but in the regional areas they're not. So I want to take a walk around a shop right behind me and I show you, want to show you what a Russian typical supermarket looks like in provincial Russia. Before we head on inside, I thought I'd just show a little bit of history of Davalakanova. There's a photograph right here showing what it used to look like many years ago. And right behind is the current view. Now there is a building off on the right hand side there. Now my wife Zhenya here and her cousin They've lived here a lot of years before moving to Ufa and to Moscow and neither of them know what this building is and my wife's cousin uh, all his life has never known what it is. This is the bus to Ufa so it's about an hour and a half drive from here to the main city and then roughly where we are right now it's 1400 kilometers from Moscow so there's another food market right here. This one is more of a farmer's market and then the supermarket we want to go to is just a few steps away. There's a very nice building across the road as well. This is fairly close to the center of Davlikanova. So this is kind of the hub of where everyone would come to to do their shopping. And today's Sunday afternoon so it's got a few people around and we'll head on inside. Now the reason I like to call this a Russian typical supermarket is there is 20,000 of these throughout Russia and they just recently opened their 20,000 and one and two stores in St. Petersburg but we're here in provincial Russia and I want to show you what supermarket shopping is like 1,500 kilometers from Moscow and where we've seen one of the videos before in a Pitorichka. This one's actually more of a supermarket style than the corner store type. But there's a lot to see. And we'll just have a quick wander around and have a look what items they've got. Now, being it's a bigger Pitorichka, they've got shopping trolleys. And of course, the traditional baskets. These are the ones that people use in every store throughout Russia. But if you want to do a little bit more shopping, you've got the baskets. And then we've got the refrigerated section here. There's some ready meals. These are pretty much heat and eat. Nice and easy to make lunch or dinner. And some vegetables. All of the very usual Russian vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, cabbage, carrots. It's kind of the stock of every supermarket throughout Russia. And as quickly as we get past the vegetable, there's a beer fridge. So it's actually very warm outside at the moment. So beer and soft drinks are a favorite thing here in Davlakanova. And then there's some meats and some fish products and some dried and smoked fish, lots of sausages, lots of types of sausages. There's more than at my local Pitorichka, which is good. So yeah, you've got the very usual type of aisles here as well. Lots of pickled vegetables, peas and corn, are kind of the staple of every Russian supermarket. We might try and do this without cutting. How will that be? Over here, we've got teas and coffees. Lots of choices of teas and coffees. Now, the one thing to keep in mind where we are here in the center of Davlakanova is I can walk to another five supermarkets, pretty much this size or a little bit smaller than this. Here is all the pay by weight candy. So you can get yourself a small bag of treats. You don't have to buy a big packet. Lots of ketchups, 
Heinz right here. I think everybody in the world knows Heinz. And there's Bill Mene. Now I've been very lucky staying here for a few nights that my wife's auntie was making homemade pilmene. So nice to have homemade pilmene rather than buying it from the supermarket. But, you know, sometimes if you can't make it yourself, you come to a relative's house who can make it. Lots of different seasonings. And there's some seafood here. Now, has anyone heard the joke that I always tell everybody, I'm on a seafood diet. I see food and I want to eat it. Now, this actual store is actually newly opened in the last year or so. So I think they're actually in the middle of still getting everything set up and modeled. And there's yogurts and mayonnaise over here. And then the rest of the dairy section. It's about a third of the shop is all the different dairy items. And as my wife is always commenting how many types of yogurts there are in all the different supermarkets in Russia. And we've got different cheeses and milks, sour cream. And then as we come around here, there's some juices. So if you've heard me talk about Dobra Cola a lot, this is actually where the branding of the juices started was with the Dobra Juices brand. And it's the same place where they produce the Dobra Colas which going backwards was the place where the Coca-Colas were produced. Let's have a look at the eggs. The eggs are very cheap. 69 rubles, 66 rubles, 50 rubles. Now, if you're converting the US dollar, it's about 93 rubles today for one US dollar. So a pack of 10 eggs is very cheap. Lots of different types of rice here. And then you can see how big the store is. Now, with it being Sunday today, there is a lot of people around. It is also a very warm day, so a lot of people will be staying home, maybe not necessarily coming shopping. So that's why it's not as busy in this particular location. Uh, there is also lots of other shops very close by. So I'm not gonna shy away from how many stores there are. All the different cool drinks. Now I've got one in the car waiting for me, so I don't need to get one here today. Dried fruits. So yeah, this supermarket is very well stocked. Now I did get this comment a lot. You know, they ask, everyone's asking in the comments, you need to go further away from Moscow to give a more real feel for what the stores are like and how full it is. There's the beer section here that's not in the fridge. Budweiser and my favorite beer, Stella, right there. And then lots of different Russian beers and juices again. So yeah, there is a lot to see. There's a baby section with all of the different things for the babies. Now, not necessarily people will do their weekly shop here, although you could. There's the nappies for the children, pampers, and then there's some things for cooking, so oils and jellies. And here is the flour. A lot of people doing home cooking, of course. And then we've got all the personal care items on the right hand side. Got to hold my hand nice and steady here. And then all the things for the house for cleaning and uh, the washing powders. Our favorite fairy dishwashing liquid. <laughs> it's a lot of favorites in here that we buy often because where I live in Moscow region, we've got three of these Pitorichkas within walking distance. So there's a lot of uh, choices. Here is some more cleaning items. Now these yellows are usually the ones that are on special in the store. And then they ask you to use your shopping card to get the extra discounts. No problems at all. And then more things for cleaning. Stuff for cleaning everywhere. Toilet roll and then all the cats and dogs don't miss out. 
right here, lots of pet food. Again, lots of things on special with the yellow tags. So like anywhere else in the world, these are uh, rotated specials, which will generally be for one week, and then they'll change them for the following week. Lots of dry biscuits and snacks and treats. And depending if you've watched some of my other videos or not, you know, I've pointed out a few times that there is a very distinct lack of breakfast cereals in Russia. People prefer porridges and oats rather than sugary, sweety type cereals, which these ones are right here. And we've got pastas, lots of different types of pasta and more biscuits. Milka is very prevalent in any store you go to in uh, these uh, supermarkets. Milka is everywhere. And then there's these chocolate croissants, which are another one of my favorites. But I'm trying to not eat as many of them because they're too tempting and too delicious. So as I walk around, I really hope this is a little bit insightful about what it's like in a regional area of Russia. You know, we are a couple of hours by plane east of Moscow and still the supermarkets have got stock in them. I mean, I don't know who's thinking that these are empty and people are struggling. You know, there's a lot of options for shopping here. So beyond this type of store, which is very normal throughout all of Russia, 20,000 locations, there is food markets nearby, there is uh, fruit and vegetable stores, there is butcher shops. So there's a lot of places alternative to this where you can shop also. This is the aisle with the different alcohol choices. So red and white wines on this side. And then sparkling wines. I have a habit of wanting to call them champagnes, but they're not necessarily from that region of France. So there is also a nice selection of vodkas and liqueurs. Now this store won't have a full range of alcohols, although you can get everything that you possibly want here, because nearby there is a couple of alcohol shops which specialize only in spirits and things like whiskey and rum and things like that. There is Johnny Walker up the top there, but you don't have to walk too far if you don't see the selection in this shop. Let's have a look at the ice creams and nice and fully stocked. Being that it's warm outside, this is pretty much a must and necessity in this weather to have an ice cream in the checkout area here with some of the premium spirits behind. Lots of choices. These are the ones that don't make it on the normal shelf. There's not really a big difference in price. I'm always curious why they have some of them behind the register. There's the candies. Hello. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, the fresh bakery. Now I've shown this in a few other videos before, the bakery products. I've also been to the uh, factory in St. Petersburg where a lot of these come from as well. So you might want to check out that video if you want to see where some of these bakery products come from. This is my very famous garlic bread right here. That, my gosh, it was the whole reason I started making videos about these different markets. And more bread, chibracha bread down there. And the other side of the vegetable section, all the fruits and melons. We've actually had a couple of these melons while we've been here. These are very delicious right now. Now, if you've got family living in this area, you may not necessarily want fruit and vegetables from the store. You can basically raid your family's uh, house or your neighbors and get yourself something. There is some different honeys here. Ufa where we are, or oh, this is Ufa region is very famous for honey. Now there is a couple of local brands here, but again, you'd probably go to a farmer's market to get something more specific. I didn't want to make this video too long. I want to just do a nice walk around and not have too many edits in it. I really hope that 
the video is helpful to understand that even in a regional part of Russia that there's food in the supermarkets, uh, the stores like Pitorichka and other markets nearby here have a good choice of food. As we can hear the train going by right behind, I can take the train from here back to Moscow, but it's much easier to fly. It's two hours by aeroplane from Ufa to Moscow. And in two days I'm heading on back. So you're gonna see lots more videos, including this one on the channel very soon. Thanks everybody for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please post a comment and let me know what you think. Do I need to go further east? Do I need to go to Vladivostok to make a video to show these Russian typical supermarkets? Post in the comments what you think. If you liked it again, thumbs up. I'm sure there'll be a thumbs down because that's very normal. I'm okay with that as my wife and cousin were just in the background there. So uh, there's another video for you to watch after this. If you want to check out the market tour of Davla Carnival, I'll put that video for you to watch after this one. And you can see what the local Sunday market looks like here. And I'm off on another adventure. Bye everybody.